So we have motion blur coming to 2.9 and uh, this is my most awaited feature for Blender EV and I think it's really awesome. So as most of you know already in most of my animation or in my previous animation which is a night beamer I had a uh, motion blur used in it and this motion blur wasn't actually an inbuilt motion blur that came with blender ev but this was actually an add-on that i used and it's the add-on that i'm using in my recent animation too and i know i'm not supposed to be showing you guys this but i guess i decided to show it to you guys anyways so this is an animation i'm working on it's just an animation to say thank you to you guys for supporting me and uh, hopefully you guys like it once i finish it and show it to you guys but uh, yeah this is what it looks like so in this animation i actually had a uh, motion blur used and and this was before uh, Motion Blur was announced in 2.9. Uh, I was using this add-on called, uh, what do you call it, Forced EV Motion Blur. And it, once you have the add-on, you can just install it and it should be right here in your render tab. Is it the render tab? I think so. Or is it the scene tab? I'm not sure. Just this tab over here. So it's going to be under this tab and it's called Forced EV Motion Blur. The motion blur that came in 2.9, which I'm pretty sure is because it hasn't been released yet. Hopefully, by the time it is released, they fixed this. When I'm rendering out some of the, so a scene like this that is a vehicle moving really fast, uh, the issue that I have is the shadow is also blurred out, okay? So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like, this add-on, how it renders out for me. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now. So I'm just going to go to the video sequencer. And I'm just going to split this. I'm going to show you guys that scene, what it looks like with the uh, add-on that I used. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without the add-on. That is, if you use the the internal 2.9 feature, motion blur feature. So I'm going to go over to, I think I collapsed this. I'm going to go over to, uh, is it, I think it's the animation timeline. Yeah, right here. All right. So I'm going to add in the, uh, the image sequence. And let me just crop that. I think that's where it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to type in 160 over here. And let's fix the resolution. So I'm going to type in 810. I think it already has that in there. And now let's take a look at what that's, this looks like. So this was rendered out with the forced EV motion blur. And you can see the shadow is not being blurred out. And I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like right now in 30 FPS. And you can see. So all I rendered this whole thing out with, uh, what do you call it? The first EV motion blur. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like if I try rendering it out with the motion blur that I came with 2.7, I mean 2.9. Alright, so here we are in the rendered, uh, what do you call it, the rendered view, and you can see uh, right now we don't have the motion blur going on because this is not a rendered image. We're going to render this out, and to do this in 2.9, I'm going to go down to the motion blur. I think it's in this tab right here, hopefully. Uh, what, where is it? Yeah, right here. So you can see motion blur under EV. Just make sure EV is your engine selected. And go down here and enable motion blur right here. And you can play around with this setup as you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and render this out real quick. So I'm going to go render, render image. So you can see what this looks like. Alright, so once you have it rendered out, this is what you're going to have. I just had to switch to this because it was rendered in a new tab. And that tab wasn't being recorded. So this is the final result I have. And as you can see, you can see what I'm talking about here. The motion blur is working quite well on the rims. But I think uh, there are a few things we will need to set up. I'm not sure maybe I'm the one not setting it up properly. But I'm just going to wait until the final release is out. Just so I'm sure there's a uh, Just so I'm sure that maybe I'm the one who is not doing it right. And then I'll have to play around with Blender to try to figure it out. But right now it's still being built on. So I can and I can't really tell if this is me or this is the application, so we're just going to have to wait for it to come out, like I said. But the uh, another major difference between the two is the first EV motion blur actually takes a long time to render. And this one, I think, only took about 12 seconds to render out. So that would be an amazing thing. That would be sort of a time-saving for me because... With the first EV, I was actually looking at around uh, 5 to 10 minutes per frame. And that's a heck of a lot of time to uh, to render out a single frame in EV. So yeah, hopefully uh, my most anticipated feature is finally coming, coming to 2.9. And hopefully it actually saves me the time uh, that I spend on rendering each frame. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is what I have for you guys. And I'm going to see you guys 